good morning everyone you're welcome back to my channel <coughs> what happened to my voice you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to dam z vlog if you are new subscribers thank you thank you for deciding to click on my video to watch what i'm doing and if you're an existing subscribers thank you for your patience i know you are patient with me thank you for always deciding to watch my videos thank you for the engagement thank you for the comments thank you for everything so today is friday and um i decided to cook vegetable this morning as you guys all know me that oh i am a foodie yeah i like good food good food yeah so this morning i tried to cook vegetable and um i've been picking the water leaf and washing it so i just said that ah why can't you just vlog the whole experience i know some of you already know how to cook vegetable like it is not a new thing but i just want to you know carry everybody along with me while i cook you can just learn one or two things you know maybe you know you might have a different way you cook your own vegetables so you can just learn one or two things with me so thank you stay tuned be patient so yeah before i decided to vlog about this cooking i started cutting the vegetable so i just packed everything together and um, i washed it i had it salt because to remove any germs you know the way they grow all this vegetable in the farm is always very dirty packing into the market so i added salt to wash it and i washed it like three times to me i believe when i washed it like three times i've already removed all the dirt and it's now clean for me to cook with it so i gently washed it like see, i was watching washing it like a cloth so i gently washed it to the second bowl and um, i i added um, salt again to it some people do this process more than three times but me i prefer washing my vegetable like three times and i had salt those three times i'm washing it so i washed it for like three times and um, after washing it i cut it you can choose to cut your vegetable before washing it but personally i prefer to wash it before cutting some people don't have the time to do all this so they prefer to cut their vegetable in the market and come back home to wash but like I said, I don't like the way they cut vegetable in the market. So I prefer to come home with it and, you know, remove it and um, wash it and cut it. So I cut vegetable to the way I want it. So the, the knife I was using was very blunt. So it was, it gave me a hard time to cut. But like, I had no choice so i was just managing it so on a normal day if the knife is cut there's a way you know i cut it not too small but let's say medium because if it is too small where you are using the vegetable you know, the vegetable can just you know go into the drain so i that's why i just have to manage the knife i was using here so that i can cut it to a very medium size and um that's what I did and um, I tried to cut it here. In fact, the knife was really, I was struggling. <laughs> I was struggling with it. So I'm sure when you're doing yours, you can try to cut it in the market. When you cut it in the market, you know, their knives are always very sharp. So um, you can cut it in the market. Then you come back home, you rinse it. Or you have a, a sharp knife at home to help you make the job easier so that's just what i did then after that i brought out my um stockfish so yoba sometimes call this um pala so i brought out the stockfish the dried periwinkle and the dried crayfish so what i do is i boil my stockfish you can choose to steam it with just hot water before cooking but personally what i do is just to boil it it's to me it saves time than just steaming it with hot water so i after doing that this is the periwinkle the dry periwinkle 
So this, what I just do is I add it to the hot water. That's after removing the stock fish. I had the dried periwinkle. Dried periwinkle is very nice. You can use the dry one or you can use um, the one that is soak in thigh water. Any one of your choice. So I use this dry periwinkle. Sometimes I use the wet one. I'm sure most people will be like, ah, this is your bag. How could you be able to use all these things? But that's for later, later, later. So this is... um um crayfish yeah so this is the dry crayfish i'm sure you guys are all aware that when you buy crayfish in the market it shows this color so what you do is that ensure you rinse or use hot water to wash your crayfish yeah so after that i brought out the protein so i used um uh, fish for more and um, i already have the meat at home i already washed them parboil them so it's blocked then i used snail i've already parboiled them so for more i've already washed them with the brown fish this, this is called a good fish yeah in nigeria yeah, or let's say yoga we call it a good fish so after washing that i brought out my iru so this is local bean in english call it we call it iru in yoruba i don't know what it's called in Igbo, but i like to use this to uh, cook my vegetable i'm sure everybody does so it gives this kind of smell and from what my mom told me that when you eat it raw it clears the dirt in your eyes i don't know if it is true or not but personally i like it so after rinsing it i rinse it with salt to remove any dirt then i dice the onions i like onions so i diced it then i went back to check the stockfish i just boiled it for like five to ten minutes just for it to be soft then i added the snail like I said, the snail is already boiled and iced, so I just added it to just remove the 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 iced in it. So after doing this for like five to ten minutes, I removed the, um, the stock fish. Then I rinsed it again to cut it into small pieces. So this vegetable is just a low budget; it's not a big man vegetable. So I'm sure you guys don't expect me to just put this big. Um, stock fish inside it. so i just had to pieces it and um by tomorrow i cut it into small pieces the um fish i cut it into small pieces i not just put it like that then after that what i did was i uh, mashed should i say mashed my pepper so i used the yellow pepper because it's very hot and this is ogre or i guess i guess it's right ogre ope or something so this is called ogre ope in Igbo and yoruba we call it ogiri it's the um, fermented egusi seed so i'm sure you guys know it it smells that is odor but it's very very nice when you add it to your vegetable soup so i mashed it together with crayfish and um, i pound it yeah together with crayfish and the yellow pepper so after doing that then we proceed to cook so vegetable is something that when you when you want to cook it you have to give yourself time to wash your protein wash everything you need before you start cooking not that when you have cooking, that's when you'll be looking for crayfish you'll be looking so you have to wash everything before you start cooking so the next thing was to cook i added palm oil allowed it to be hot and um, added the uh, onions then i did this for like five minutes just for it to be hot not that smoking hot i just needed it to be hot then i added um, I had the eel that local bean, so there's this nice scent I get from it. Then I had the fish. So the reason why I'm having the fish, which is the panga, um, the ram fish, is because the ram fish is not dried. So I just fried it so that it be dry. So that when I'm so that when I'm turning the vegetable, it will it will uh, scatter. So I just fried it a little bit. And after doing this for like 10 minutes, I added my pepper. So I use red ball pepper, branded red ball pepper only. I don't use the meat of the vegetable because I like my vegetable to have pepper, so I don't use the uh, tomato. So I added that. I already have that at home, so I just added it, allowed it to fry. I allowed this to fry for like you know, 10, 10 minutes just for it to fry. Then I added salt and I added my Maggi 
just had it one one season cube but personally i use maggi so i added salt then uh after doing this i stirred it together and um, after stirring it together i just allowed it to fly so you'll be seeing a lot of stirring together in this my pot because <laughs> i like to stir food so i stirred it together allowed it to simmer then i covered it i tested it to to ensure that everything was fine because i don't want to you know put too much maggi or put too much salt at this stage so after doing that i added the protein i used uh i added the meat the snail the gomo and the stock fish i mixed them together and i added small water to just make it um, more simmer and um, I just added the water to make it steam yeah then i covered this for like um i covered it for like five to another another five to another five to ten minutes so and um, so just for it to cook so i left it for it to cook you can choose to cover it or you can just leave it for it to for it to cook so after that what i did was to add the ogivilisi i pounded remember i told you guys that i pounded ogivilisi crayfish and um, the um yellow pepper it's not necessary you put this yellow pepper but the day i cooked this vegetable rain was falling so i needed pepper in my mouth like <laughs> i'm sure you guys will be like a yoga girl so i needed pepper so i had a three um, yellow pepper again in fact after cooking this soup later i got to find out that the pepper was just too much but then i like it like that i like it like that so after adding the ogrelli see i put i sure i packed all that i did not show that so but that was what i was doing i ensured i packed everything in the in the mortar then i stirred it together so I stirred it together and um, that's cooked for a while. So I just used like 5 to 10 minutes after stirring together. Then I turned the soup, tasted it. That's just to make sure the maggi and the salt is okay. Then after doing this, I added the ugu. So I think I missed that part. So for this soup, I used ugu and water leaf. You can call it edikai or, or vegetable soup, whatever. But that's what I used here. I used ugu and vegetable leaf. And this vegetable leaf is um, 200 naira. Yeah, 200 naira. So I added it together and I... I was packing all the vegetables so that my vegetable would not throw away so i stirred it together at this point ensure it is like it is really stirred together because i needed the vegetable to be cooked with the stew so at this point if you feel the palm oil is not enough you can add when you are cooking your own but me what i did is i stirred it together just to confirm that everything is okay the pepper the palm oil i took my time to stir it don't mind me <laughs> so i stirred it after doing this i covered it for the vegetable to steam for a while for like another five five minutes because when you're cooking vegetable you don't need it to take too long like vegetable is not something that you can take the whole time for you to cook it's just because I personally when I'm eating my vegetable I like it to be I like it to be there's this sound you get when you're eating vegetable not that you eat vegetable that to take long so I like it to be greenish so I don't cook it for long so after cooking the the ugu first some people do put water leaf first but me i prefer to put ugu first because ugu sometimes is hard so just for it to cook for five minutes so after doing that i added the water leaf now water leaf is a leaf that adds water when you are cooking so you don't need to add any water all what you just need to do at this stage is to stir it when you stir um water leaf 
after a while it brings out water it's cold that's why it's called water leave so i stirred it together like i was patient to stir it like gradually you no know, if you notice the veget the water leaf was much but after stirring it together everything just came down so i st i started stirring it and um Steady the whole together just slowly until I fully stirred it and uh, at this point I I tested the salt I tested the maggi while I was stirring after stirring it I tested the maggi I tested the salt and I noticed that uh, the vegetable was kind of not there was no palm oil some people choose they like their vegetable like this but me i like my vegetable there should be palm oil in it so after stirring it together i added palm oil i tasted it for salt i added a little bit of salt then i i added maggi just small maggi because i already used one um, seasoning cube already so i added another one then after doing this, I allowed it to simmer for, for another, like I said, five to ten minutes because it's I did not allow it to reach uh, 15 minutes. So after that, I stirred it and checked for the taste. The taste was all right. The maggi was enough. The salt was also enough. Everything was enough except for the palm oil so i added the palm oil because of the face it was looking like there wasn't enough palm oil and i just added small palm oil to just make the face to be fine <laughs> so i tasted it i stirred it for some minutes i tasted it everything was yummy and it was fine a few moments later hello say so i'm done with my cooking mm. thank you guys for watching thank you for staying this long to watch the video and to watch what i cook with me so um this is going to be the end of my vlog for today it's about to rain here eh? and um, the weather is cloudy that's why it looks like my background is dark so thank you guys so, please i'll need you to comment please comment let's make this my channel let's make it more interactive so please i need you to comment like give me a like give me a thumb box and um share the link and please subscribe so that you can be getting my notification so please my family you guys are like a family to me and um, i really appreciate this my presence with you guys so i will need you to please 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 like comment and subscribe thank you guys have a nice weekend bye love you